In this tutorial series I will show you how LB2 plugins are built and how to make your own plugins from scratch using C and C++. But first the question. What is LV2? LV2 is an open source audio plugin standard. There are more than 1000 plugins in this format and the number is still growing. Some plugins like CAF plugins are exclusively available as LV2. LV2 is available for Mac, Windows and Linux and an increasing number of digital audio workstations supports this format. First of all, LV2 is free and open source. This means you can use LV2 for creating plugins for free. You can contribute to the standard and you are independent from commercial interests of the standard creating company as we have experienced it from other standards in the recent history. LV2 is extensible. Many features in LV2 are realized as extensions. You can write your own extensions and it's up to you to support the host provided extensions or not. And in contrast to other plugin standards, LV2 separately stores metadata and plugin code. This makes it faster and more robust and more flexible than other plugin standards. LV2 plugins don't come along as single files. Each plugin is stored in separate folders. And each folder contains at least two, but usually three or four or even more files. Let's analyze the LittleFly plugin by Prama10. There are two binaries, one for the audio signal processing and one for the user interface. The manifest turtle file contains very basic information and links to the LittleFly turtle file. The plugin turtle file contains more detailed information, like the plugin type and the ports used. The turtle file tells us that LittleFly has got an audio input port, an audio output port and two control input ports. So, in contrast to other plugin standards, there is no need to execute the plugin to get information about it. First, we need a compiler. You can use GCC, Clang or the Microsoft Visual C++ compiler. I will go for GCC, but I will not only use the C compiler, but also the C++ compiler, the build to make and some other tools. You can get them using the terminal, for instance, with sudo apt-get install build essential on Debian Linux-based systems and with sudo pacman-s based devel on Arch Linux-based systems. The installation on other systems, especially on Windows and Mac, will differ. Then you need an editor. You can use every simple text editor. Even Notepad Exo will do this job. Or you can use an integrated developer environment like Eclipse, CodeBlocks, KDevelop or Visual Studio Code. Take a look into your App Store or your Package Manager. Try out and use the one you feel most comfortable with. And then you also need libraries. If we don't want to reinvent the wheel, we also need to install some developer libraries. The standard C and C++ libraries should come along with the compiler packages. Of course, we need LV2. Soundfile is useful if we work with sample files. We need libraries for making graphic user interfaces. Libraries for the windowing system interaction like X11 on Linux or Cocoa on Mac or the Windows libraries on Windows. 2D libraries like Cairo can be used for drawing on screen and package config to configurate these libraries for building binaries. To install these packages from the terminal we have to call sudo apt-get install and the respective package names for Debian Linux based systems. And sudo pacman-s and the respective package names for Arch Linux based systems. Other tools. There are also some other tools you can optionally install. Jelf is a minimal LV2 host that you can call from the command line. Very useful for testing. LV2 lint checks the validity of the plugin you built. GDB is a debugger which helps you to find bugs. And Welcrunt is a tool to detect memory related problems like memleaks. You can get these tools via your package managers too. I also recommend to take a look at the LV2 reference at lv2plug.in. In the next video we will take a deeper look into the LV2 structure and we will write our first plugin.
All material, including plugin codes and templates, will also be available at the tutorial GitHub repository.